You said you were with him during all of his movies, right? Yeah, most of them. Most of them. Well, Juice, Poetic Justice, Bullet, what, Gridlock. What, what happened, I had heard a story about Poetic Justice that Janet didn't want to do like a love scene with Pac unless he got like an AIDS test or something. It wasn't. It wasn't a love scene. It was a kiss. A kiss, right? It was a kiss, and um, the deal was Janet had previously shot a scene with um, Q-Tip. Q-Tip is in them in right, the, yeah, the very too. beginning. And she got sick. She got a cold. Some shit. Not that it was Q-Tip's fault, but she got a cold. Yeah. And uh, uh, it was coming up in the script time for Pac to kiss her. And so they approached Pac with, uh, well, like, if you want some candy, take, we're gonna need you to take a test. I was like, get the, he's like, get the fuck out of here. Like, <laughs> Pac was like, am I gonna get to hit it? Am I gonna get, <laughs> I, I, I get to hit it too? <laughs> cool, I'll take the test right now if I get to hit it. <laughs> uh, I mean, so it's like, and Pac was feeling some type of way. It was like, Q-Tip just kissed her. He ain't take a fucking test. Why the fuck I got to take the damn uh, AIDS test or whatever? You know, it was like, you know, he felt some type of way. He got at, got at John Singleton real tough. And uh, they worked it out. But, yeah, that did happen. I interviewed Sway a long time ago. Um, it was for the, this Tupac. Are you familiar with Tupac Rap Phenomenon? The mixtape? I think so. Yeah. Where we got a bunch of people on it. We got like Alicia Keys and Busta Rhymes and mm -hmm. everything else like that. Anyways, so we were working on that. And um, Sway was saying how I guess he went to go interview Tupac on the set of Poetic Justice. And he just said that when he goes into his trailer, it was just like filled with condom wrappers. Like everywhere that I could see. Like, <laughs> Well, he was he's, he's, he's safe. Right. Yeah. <laughs> He's wrapping it up. Do you think that was Say part sex. What was that part of the whole Janet Jackson <laughs> thing of, you know, I wanted to take a take a test before kissing me? You think cuz she was seeing all this? Um not no, but Pac did have a reputation of you know, the ladies loving him. Yeah. He was a black James Dean. Yeah. Well, what I mean, <laughs> you know, shit. What happened with him and Madonna? Um, oh, Madonna's the homie. Okay. Um, uh, we were doing um, press for uh, Above the Rim. And um, I think we were in New York, and um, I, just like them, I was sitting there while Pac was doing the interview. Because mm -hmm. Pac and then Marlon, they did it together, and then um, they were talking to Pac, and then Madonna came, sat down right next to me. When is he finished? <laughs> I'm like, uh, now, let's, let's little, just little while. Little let's while. just let's just rewind for a second. Mm -hmm. Madonna was like the biggest star in the world at the time. Yeah. She was like Rihanna on mm -hmm. steroids. Yeah. J just so people know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so so basically, Rihanna sat. A, a, Rihanna sat next to you and started stressing you over. <laughs> over yeah. the, the Rihanna of the time, basically. The Rihanna of the yeah. time, exactly. Yeah, Madonna. I mean, Madonna was still Madonna. People, they had love for her, respected her, and, you know, shit. It's Madonna. Right. And um, I think she gave me a note to give to him. Okay. I mean, for real. Did you read the note? No. <laughs> I was just happy that she was giving him a note. I would have read the note. And uh, <laughs> no, nah, everybody was there. My, my homies was there, so I, you know, I went over, gave it to him, and uh, he was like, "Hi, hi." Yeah, he was about the business, and so then they linked up, and then, um, you know, I would take him, I would take him to our house and shit, and then when we got back to LA, and um, yeah, uh, yeah. They were they were a thing for a minute. They were a thing for a minute. Mm -hmm. Why did it never uh, spill into the public until like? Because Madonna talked about it recently. I think yeah. this year, yeah, back in March. Yeah, she the homie. She, you know, they, you know why? Because both of them are off the motherfucking chain. Yeah. Pac and her were off the chain. It was too much. It was too much. It was just too much. It was like. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, so. Were they like in a real relationship or were they just fucking? Uh, you have to ask her. Okay. <laughs> but, um, you know, this is Pocky talking about. <laughs> this is Madonna you're talking about. <laughs> so, uh, you know. So she would come over to the house while you were there? No, I would I would take Pac to her, her crib. To her crib? Oh, okay. Or, or to, for him to catch the, the, the private jet with her. Oh, they were taking private jets together. Yeah. They're, they're on that level. <laughs> okay. Madonna. It's Madonna. Right. Yeah. You're not. You're not taking a taxi. Yeah. She. <laughs> she. She was. She was. Shit. Back then, she was a hundred plus mil. Back then, too. Ninety-five. Yeah. Yeah. She was a hundred mm-hmm. mil back then. Hundred plus mm-hmm. mil back then. Okay. Do you know why they had a falling out eventually, or? Is it just nah, me? I just think that, you know, um, they were kicking it, you know what I mean? I don't think it was super serious, going to get married or some shit. They were just, you know, how those entertainment relationships go. Yeah. You know, but they both respected each other, so, you know, it ended cool, you know? He That's never it. talked shit about it, not to me. Yeah. She never talked shit about him. I FaceTimed him, FaceTimed me, you know what I'm saying? We talked it out. Hold the grill, hold, I had a grudge, he had a grudge, you know what I'm saying? We killed to put it in the middle of the flow. You know what I'm saying? It's over with now. So we working. Bow wow. Do I have to go through this? I'm gonna plead the fifth. See, here's what happens. You have to understand. This is like player failure. Player failure is when you call out people and then other people get afraid you might call them out. 